Hello everyone, it's Tuesday and it's time for my weekly weight loss update. Today ends week 18 on keto. 18 weeks on keto. I was thinking this morning, I've been on keto for 18 weeks and I haven't cheated. I've kept my promise to myself for 18 weeks and for that, I'm patting myself on the back. I am so proud of me. And if you're proud of me, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And share my videos. Help me help you and help my channel out. That'd be great. I am trying to grow my channel. And with viewers like you, this is how it happens, right? It is ending week 18 on keto. And I went ahead and done what I've done for my last few weekly updates. I filmed every day, but this time I even filmed Saturday and Sunday what my weights were for each day of the week and how I felt about them. So let's check those out first. So it's Wednesday, the day after my weigh-in, and this morning the scale says 209.2 again. So this is the third Wednesday in a row that I've been 209.2. <laughs> Love it. That's fine. That's fine. Like I said, I am gonna try to roll with the punches. Good morning. It is Thursday, May 2nd. And my weight today is 208.2. <laughs> seen that number a few times in the last couple weeks right but i'm thankful about it i'm just have that groundhog effect going on i'm gonna stick with it don't you worry feeling optimistic today um i didn't see that number last thursday i think last thursday it was 2096 so there is a difference I'm not doing exactly the same thing as I did the last two weeks. Good morning. It's Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Wednesday to you. So the scale this morning said 207.6. I haven't seen that number yet. So that's a new number. And I'm feeling optimistic that I'm out of the groundhog effect going on with my weight loss. So that's a new number, but you know, it's probably not sticking around. I'll be uh, happy if on Tuesday I'm at that 208.2 or zero. Good morning. It's Saturday, May 4th, and my weight this morning, <laughs> it, okay, what, should we address the granny jammies? <laughs> I don't want to get dressed yet, but I wanted to film this for you. So yeah, here I am. In my granny jammies, looking hot, right? <laughs> Not. My weight this morning was 208.2, so it went up. I suspected that. I went drinking, and about 10 p.m., my husband and I went to Denny's, and I had a huge breakfast. I had four eggs, a ham slice, four bacon, and two sausage links. And then I weighed, it's 8.30 now, I weighed about an hour ago, so around 7.30. So, I suspected that my weight would have been up. Not shocked about that at all. Let's see what it does tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, and my weight today was 208.6. My feelings about it, optimistic. Maybe I'll lose one pound again this week. Maybe I'll lose more. Good morning. It's Monday, May 6th, and my weight today was 207. So I'm optimistic for tomorrow's weigh-in. That's my feelings about my weigh-in today. 207 is a 2.6 pound loss from last week. This morning, I woke up and I weighed myself, and my weight for this week is, drum roll please, Oh, I'm bouncing the camera. 207.6. So, yay! I've lost two pounds for the week. Two pounds. Yes. So,
So that's a total of 33.4 pounds since January 1st. I'm excited. I'm excited. So I'm starting to have better loss. I'm hoping to hit that 201. That will mark my 40 pound loss since I started keto. I'm hoping to hit that in the next couple of weeks. It seems like it's going to happen if I lose two pounds a week. What would that be? Three weeks from now? If I lose one pound a week, it'll be six weeks from now. Whatever. Whatever it takes, I'm going to keep going like I always said. Anyways, I'm wearing a shirt that I haven't worn in a long time because it made me look pregnant. And it looks all right on me. Uh, here's the whole thing. So there it is. <laughs> I don't want to, if you saw what I was wearing on the bottom, you'd be like, what the hell? But I wanted to throw this shirt on to show you that I can wear this shirt now, size extra large, and I'm loving it. There's an NSV. The NSVs is what really counts, right? I mean, the scale, yes. It tells you how you're doing, but your weight fluctuates every day. Like, you've seen me gain four pounds overnight. It's just water weight. I didn't gain four pounds of fat overnight. Okay, so the measurements, your waist, your hips, your thighs, your arms, even your neck, tells you how you're really doing on keto. If you're seeing losses there, then you know you're actually losing fat and not just water. Just so you know how I've been doing for the last 30 days, marking today, I've lost 6.2 pounds in the last 30 days. That's because I've had some issues the last couple weeks, right? So it's only 6.2 pounds in a month. But if you think about it, 6.2 pounds in a month is pretty good loss. That's a really good loss. I shouldn't say it's only 6.2 pounds. I should say, wow, I lost 6.2 pounds in a month. I mean, they say healthy, steady weight loss is one pound a week. So that would have been only four pounds a month. So I lost more than one pound a week if we averaged it out, because I lost 6.2 pounds a month. In the last 60 days, I've lost 12.2 pounds. Okay, so if you in two months, I lost 12.2 pounds, basically doubling that, right? Minus two ounces. So, I mean, even that is an amazing loss, because if I was lo losing one pound a week, in 60 days, I should have only lost eight pounds. You see what I'm saying? And then it goes up for there. So you need to look at your averages and your month as a whole and not just a week. I do weekly weigh-ins here because I can handle it. Yes, you've seen me cry and get frustrated. Up. I'm gonna. You've seen me get frustrated and cry, but I can handle that. Believe me. I showed you that so I can show you that. I'm with you too. I'm struggling with you too. It's not all puppies and kittens over here, right? I wanted to keep it real and I get upset sometimes, but then I got to look at my, my tracking of my weight and my measurements. And then I say, you know what, girl, you're doing all right. You're doing all right. All right. Let's start with my BMI. So the last time I told you my BMI, it was on April 16th. And on April 16th, it was 35.5. No, 35.0. Trying to sell myself short again. 35.0. And today it was 34.5. So in three weeks, I've lost 0.5 off my BMI. That is amazing. In the last 30 days, I lost one point off my BMI. In the last 60 days, I lost two points off my BMI. And since I started keto, I've lost a total of 6.2 points off my BMI. That is amazing. My BMI started at 40.7. And today I'm 34.5. Amazing. Amazing. NSV, right? NSV. I'm also going to go through my measurements. 
ain't gonna tell you the exact number. I gotta keep some things private. Since April 16th, I've lost one inch off my waist. 5.5 inches off my waist of all time. So there's the all time. We'll do the, the total, sorry, rambly. So 5.5 of all time. And one inch in three weeks, okay? That's NSV, a whole inch off my waist in three weeks. So I was having those ups and downs, but I was still losing. Just the scale didn't show it. That's why the scale doesn't really count. I mean, it counts, but it doesn't really count. These measurements count. Your body getting smaller counts, right? Your jiggle getting less jiggly counts. That's what counts go to hips um, my hips I have lost a half an inch off my hips in three weeks and that's 5.5 inches off my hips for all time okay had to do some calculations so in three weeks I've lost three quarters of an inch so 0.7 inches off my chest that's amazing and all time I've lost four inches off my chest. And that's not just the girls, okay? That's including the back fat there too. And then my neck. I measure right here. I, I just went around the middle. I wish I would have went around like this. If I would have went around like this, I would have included the double chin here. But I didn't. So my neck. I've lost 0.3 inches for the three weeks off my neck. So that's good. Yeah, kind of seen it, see? Tendons. <laughs> 0.3 inches, so that's 2.5 inches for the three weeks so far. And all time, I've lost a half an inch around my neck. Arm. I only measure my left arm the biggest part right here with this stuff in it, right? And I've lost 0.8 inches off my arm for three weeks. And then in all time, I've lost an inch off my arm, one inch. And I've lost a half an inch on off my forearm. So my body been working on eating on the fat on my arm, mainly. <laughs> I hope I don't start to look weird. <laughs> I lost nothing off my calf for the last three weeks. Offsided or something? <laughs> I don't know why. Thigh. The last thing is the thighs. Okay. Well, I've only lost 0.2 off my thigh for the last three weeks. And all time, I've only lost two and a half inches off my thighs, which is kind of shocking to me because I don't want meat on my thigh. I do the very upper part by the JJ to uh, get in all the biggest stuff. So I probably lost it somewhere else on my thigh, but not in that area. Okay. So that's it. That's all I measure. I don't do the right at all. So, since April 16th, the total inches loss off my body is four inches. That is an NSV, and that is amazing. Four inches over my all my measurements, okay? And remember, I don't do the right side, so I might have lost more inches over there. I don't know. You tell me. They look different. <laughs> I think this is my right. I think this one looks bigger than my left. I got more muscle over there, that's for sure. But anyways, four inches in the last three weeks. That is why it's important to not just go by the scale. Do your measurements. Even if you didn't do them in the beginning, you can start now. Like, I'm going to go ahead tonight and measure my right and my left. You know? Might as well. 
I'm not seeing loss on the left. Maybe I see it on the right. I don't know what it started at, but I know from week to week if I lost something. All right. Well, that's it. I'm down two pounds for the week. What was it? 33.4 pounds since January 1st. I'm doing good. I think I'm doing good. Hopefully, hopefully, I will hit 35 pounds loss next week. And I'll be even closer to my 40 pound loss goal. And just keep in mind, if you're new here, I set mini goals. Because I have a lot of weight to lose still and started with more all right 33 pounds more i set it mini goals for 20 pounds okay so i hit my first one when i lost my 20 pounds my second one is losing another 20 pounds which equals 40 and after that it will be another 20 pounds equals 60 and so on and so on i'm trying to get to 100 pounds loss and that will put me at 141 and I will see how I feel and look then. Um, I am five, five and a half and I do have muscly body, especially if I start working out, which I haven't done yet, if you're wondering. I need to do that. I'm sure I would have lost a ton more weight by now if I was working out, but I told myself I will start to work out when I lose 40 pounds. So, <laughs> that's where we're at. That's what I told myself on January 1st. Get that first 40 off so I can actually put my all into my workout and be committed and not be derailing because I'm ravishly hungry after a workout and stuff. I want to be really good and seasoned into keto before I started working out. That was my thinking, and I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to my promises to myself this year, and that's a first for me. Normally, I promise myself a lot, and then I make excuses and break my promises. So, this was a year of not breaking my promise to myself. All right, that's it. I'll be back for week 19. Wish me luck, and I wish you luck. Keep keto strong. Keto on. Bye.